Hey YouTube, what is going on? And welcome back to tutorial number 34. And in this tutorial, I just want to talk to you guys about styling elements on your web page. So as you can see, I'm actually starting off with all the exact same code as our previous tutorial. But um, what I want to do now is I actually want to change a few things. And one of the things I want to change is I just want to delete a few of these paragraphs because we don't need so many. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. And in our main section, I want to delete the styling code for or the positioning code uh, for the absolute positioning of the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete that and then save this. And we can run this in Firefox. And, uh, whoops, wrong one. Okay, let's go ahead and run this in Firefox. And the reason why I want to do this is I just want you guys to be able to see the difference between what it looks like now and what it looks like later. So you've just got something to compare it to. So, as you can see, we've started off with our header at the top of the page, our main section in the middle, and then our footer at the bottom over here. So that's basically what our page looks like now. And what we can do is just go to our CSS and we can use relative positioning to change a little bit of the positioning on the web page. So let's just go ahead and position the our main section. We'll go ahead and position that relative and what we can do is go position from the top um, can be 400 pixels and position from the left can be 100 pixels. Let's go ahead and save that and we can go back to Firefox and click refresh and as you can see this is very different to what happened in our previous tutorials whenever we positioned an element okay so as you can see our footer didn't actually shoot up to fill up this empty space that has been left by our article okay and the reason for that is because the browser still actually drew our article in this space or I don't want to say drew it actually rendered our article in this space our main section and then only after rendering our main section in this space it decided to move our, our article 400 pixels down and 100 pixels to the left okay so that's why there's this big open space in the middle and um, it, that's different to absolute positioning because absolute positioning the, the footer actually shot up and then took up, took up the space that was left behind um, and then the next thing I want to tell you guys about is that our article isn't actually positioned 800 pixels from the top left corner of our browser or our window it's actually positioned 800 pixels down from its original position so that is 800 pixels down and then 100 pixels left to its original position and I can demonstrate this a little bit better by going over to our CSS and instead of using such big measurements over here we can just go ahead and say position at 10 pixels left and uh, we can go ahead and say 5 pixels down okay so go back to Firefox and then click refresh and as you can see we're now actually just five pixels down from where our main section would have originally been and 10 pixels across from when our main section would have originally been okay so that's what relative positioning actually does on your web page and we can compare this to absolute positioning if I just go over to my style sheets and we'll position our footer absolutely okay so let's go ahead and I uh, can probably just copy this control C control V and we can go ahead and position this absolute okay awesome save that and uh, I'm just gonna leave the measurements exactly the same and we can go back and refresh this and as you can see my footer is now five pixels from the top 
and I am right, it is 5 pixels, yes, okay, awesome, so it's 5 pixels from the top and 10 pixels from the left of the top corner of our browser and that is what absolute positioning does compared to relative positioning which is now 5 pixels from its original position in the document flow uh, and 5 pixels down and 10 pixels to the left of its orig original position in the document flow so that's pretty much what absolute positioning and relative positioning does and what's the difference between uh, both of them so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time